Hi, welcome to Itate's Crossing. Okay, what I'm going to do for the month is look at, and I want to have another dive into the Native American tarot. Now, Star Spider speaks the teachings of the Native American tarot. Magda Wick Gonzalez, Star Spider Woman, and J.A. Gonzalez, Rattling Bear. Now, this deck has been around a really long time. Um, let's have a look. So we know that it was sort of copyrighted 1990 by US Games. Okay, um, this is a newer edition deck. Um, not sure when the when this was last done, but let's have a look. So sorry, I just had trouble with the updating of another program so anyway so this is um something we want to sort of dive into okay so we've looked at i've used the deck heaps of times and you might have seen i've done past videos with it but let's sort of start again let's start from the beginning so forward the native american tarot is expression of the crest of the Great vision of Magda Wick Gonzalez, Star Spider Woman, is seen through the illustrations of J.A. Gonzalez, Rattling Bear. The cards illustrate facets of Native American life from Turtle Island, now called America. The only Indian playing cards known as Native America were painted on rawhide and modeled on decks brought from the Old World. However, the tarot readily adapts itself to illustrate the traditions of Native America, many of which were ancient before the arrival of the conquistadors. Since the instructor of the Native American tarot deck rests in the traditional tarot, the student of the tarot card readily applies his or her knowledge to the deck. The complete 78 card tarot pack is divided into two sections, 22 major arcana and 56 minor arcana cards. The major arcana are allegorically cards and are also known as the triumphs, the greater arcana, the higher arcana, and the atuts. The minor arcana of the traditional tarot are divided into four suits, swords, staves, cups, and coins. In each suit are four court cards, king, queen, knight, and page, and ten numbered cards. Today's ordinary playing cards descend from the minor arcana of the tarot. The knight and the pages were combined to form the pack, the, the jack of the 52 card deck, and swords charred, changed to spade, staves to clubs, cubs to hearts, and coins to diamonds. The suits in the Native American tarot are blades, which are swords, pipes are staves, vessels are cups, and shields are coins. The court cards are matriarchs, which are queens. Chiefs are the kings, warriors are the knights, and maidens are the pages. The different suits graphically reflect the values and symbols of the Native American way. Through the Native American tarot, it is possible to appreciate more fully the spiritual and artistic riches of Turtle Island. The figures on the cards are also tarot figures, and as such will enhance understanding of all tarot decks. In the Nat Native American tarot, the new world and the old world come together. Old ways and new ways are blended in much the same way that the new world itself is blending, and always have been, since distinct native tribes have melded, separ separated, and remelded with others for countless centuries. With rattling bear illustrations of Native American lore, symbolism, religion, customs, and philosophy, old and new, the Native American tarot fulfills Star Spider Woman's great vision. I saw the rainbow path as blending of the ways of all peoples. Now that was written in 1990 by Stuart R. Kaplan in, in Stamford CT. Okay, so just talking a little bit about, so just a sort of an introduction way of it, a time of the blendings. Okay, just a little bit here. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of um, stuff here. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I just wanted to sort of explain a little bit about um, now this is from Harry Sparrowhawk or Blackfoot we do not have to see words to speak clearly among the Plains nations we spoke many tongues but we have a common language that all understood 
Its use crept into our ceremonies, for when we spoke with our hands, the words danced. A memory keeper would begin his stories by smoothing the ground before him, drawing two lines with each thumb, and then a double line with both. He rubbed his hands together before passing his right hand up his right leg, touching his left at his waist and passing it then up his right arm. After revering the procedure up the other side, he touched the lines he had drawn with both hands, rubbed them together again, and then passed them all over his head and body. His motions were like a cleansing and more than just appearance. Sorry, I just lost that then. And more than just appearance. For his hands hold of humankind's creation from the earth and the great mysteries witness to these memories. And that the elders have taught us that before such a witness, only the truth could be spoken. Thus the memory keeper cleansed himself of all untruth before he began his tale. Harrow Sparrowhawk Blackfoot. Now remembering, I picked up this tarot deck over 20 years ago. I read this, um, sorry, I just removed the table. I read this, um, started reading with these cards, should I say. So over 20 years ago, I picked up this tarot deck and suddenly my life made sense. Suddenly the cards spoke a story. Um, yes, I've replaced these cards, but this was the first tarot deck that I actually used and could work with and for clients as well as for myself of course so I sort of started to and this book was such a benefit to the way that I read so I'm not going to try and pronounce the languages used in this book at all I'm just going to read the English out of honor and respect okay so I'm not going to go into all this about the, you know, what they all say. I'm not going to read the whole book. I think that's something that you need to sort of explore. But I am sort of talking about the back design. And keeping with the universal Native American motive, we have chosen a conglomerate design for the backs of the tarot cards. The primary design comes from part of a Navajo sand painting. The four cardinal directions are represented by the cross in the middle. Each path is walked by two kachinas, spirits of growth and plenty. They are black and white, day and night, male and female, and they hold spruce branches, symbols of the tree of life on each path. On the top and bottom, a Pueblo sky spirit frames a rising crescent sun, which is eclipsed by the Tingit raven. Okay, the higher arcana, the spiral of the shaman. There's lots of these um, verses throughout this book, and I love, I love the um, the words that are used. So this is by Star Spider Woman and Rattling Bear, the spiral of the shaman. The shaman walks a spiral path, a cyclone path into the eye of the storm, into the void of creation to be renewed, the path of shadows, the path of secrets, the path of deep waters, a master of the mystery path, a mistress of the silent path. All they know they cannot tell, they would not if they could, for then no mysteries would be left, no shadows, no secrets, no silence. The shaman walks a spiral path, reborn by the light of the sun, recharged by the dark of the moon. It's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so traditionally we have the fool, the magician, the pope, the empress, or the, you know, the pope, the popess, should I say, or the high priestess, the empress, the emperor, the pope, or the hierophant, the lovers, the chariot, justice, the hermit, will of fortune, strength, the hanged man, death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. Now, in this deck, we have the fool, hoisin coyote, corn maiden, medicine woman, council chief, shaman, the lovers, the sled, strength, the hermit, medicine wheel, justice, sun dance, death, the weaver, the devil, the tower, the stars, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. Okay, so interpretation of all the cards in the Native American tarot, plus chapters on meditation, 
creative visualization and divination will be found in this book. Reversed meanings while given for the minor arcana are not included for the major arcana. We feel that the spiritual karmic nature of the major arcana, major arcana symbolically incorporate all possibilities, creating a balance of positive and negative qualities within the cards themselves. Also, as in the pyram, as also as the poem, the spiral of the shaman suggests, we cannot tell you everything. You must learn to use your intuition to develop potentials on your own. However, we will give you as many clues as possible. We sincerely hope the great wisdom of the Native American heritage will bless you and guide you as you use the deck. May your moccasins walk in balance on the rainbow path. There's a whole lot more. So we begin by the prayer summoning the novice. I love this. The sacred crescent, Mother Moon, at a holy place arose and became full in the east in her cycle. Those who truly desire a long life with tobacco, with cedar berries, with cornmeal, with prayers, they walk and each shall walk his rainbow path. By J.A. Gonzalez, Rattling Bear. Okay, as we continue, let us begin with the full. So, let me begin by looking at the full. Now I know this deck's not in order, but I just want to begin. Oh, excuse me. So. You can sort of see the cards, see the images, see the differences. There we go, the full. So let us begin by exploring the full. Okay. In the beginning there was only darkness, everywhere, darkness and water. And the darkness gathered thick in places, crowding together and then separating crowding and separating, until at last from one of the places where the darkness had crowded, there came forth a man. This man wandered through the darkness until he began to think. Then he knew himself and that he was man. He knew that he was there for a purpose. Chief Vizek Volyam, Hovering Hawk, Pima, Curtis in 1968. Okay, so it goes on explaining a little bit about the fall. So when the fall turns up in a reading, tarot traditionalists assume that an element of anarchy has entered the picture. To us, the card represents the original state of structured chaos, like the darkness described by Chief Hovering Hawk. This paradoxical concept lies at the core of all existence. Still, to some, the fall represents absolutely entropy, the breakdown of order. In this budding Aquarian age, he is as often the cabalistic babe in the abyss. Medieval Europe might have called him the Lord of Misrule, a title that has his correlation in Native American tradition. One ancient figure of the fool mentioned by Alistair Crowley is the Green Man, or the April Fool, who personifies spring in the vernal festivities. Uh, festivals. Here, the essence of the fool is spring fever. Then there is a Celtic great fool who represents a Druidic doctrine as in the Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo, rather than naturalistic phenomenon. In Jungian terms, the fool is one of the most important symbols of the unconscious mind. It embodies all that we would like to forget about ourselves and what we had better not forget, the spirit of foolishness can be said to animate the entire tarot. The cards are illuminated with the fool's madness, foolishness, godliness. Hewson said that in any reading, it is the fool who asks and the fool who answers every question. Alistair Crowley reminds us that the fool of God who connects foolishness and holiness is acknowledged worldwide in the near and far east, for example, as well as in Native America. The madman is believed to be possessed as a holy man or prophet. Crowley even points out proof in the English language. Silly originally meant empty and is derived from the German root selig meaning holy 
or blessed. Emptiness, innocence is a fool's most important quality. For it is a natural law that an empty space must be filled. The philosophical point is that salvation, whatever it is, cannot be attained by rational means. Reason is a hindrance and an impasse. Only divine madness offers redemption. In various, in various traditions, a common denominator is that madness brings inspiration. Nearly all primitive people respect and even revere the wandering lunatic, for he may be the messenger of the Most High. Another fool is the Greek Dionysus, known as Roman, to Romans as Bacchus. He bestowed the gift of wine on humankind and was like Jesus, an overturner of dogmatic traditions and tyrannic restrictions, tyrannic restric restrictions. He was the incarnate power of spiritual revolt and rebirth. But to over overthrow convention is to overthrow the current philosophy with or without a new way to follow. And as Eden Gray remarked, if one has no philosophy, he is a fool. In spite of this, or because of this, inherent in the fool is the very first step of the journey through the higher arcana, with card 21 being the climax of cosmic consciousness, divine wisdom. The fool of the Native American tarot is Kachina. To the Hopi, Kachina is a spirit to believe in or a masked dancer impersonating a spirit or a doll carved and painted in the likeness of a spirit. The Pueblo of the Southwest do not use Kachina as idols, but rather as lessons in the form of in images hung on the walls of those homes. Catholics and Ang Anglicans use representations of saints in much the same manner. In the Tiwa, Tiwa Pueblo, ceremonies. The sacred clowns delight visitors and villagers with erotic pantomime. The serious role that of mediator with the spirit world seems to be masked by their black and white makeup and their ribald play. But the spirits have license to obscene jokes, for they have a power over man and beast, the ability to increase fertility. While the clowns enjoin all not to take it too seriously, the ritual dancers try to keep their solemnity and pretend these pranksters are invisible. This is interesting if one re remembers the Kabbalists who use the tarot meditate on the fall when they wish to become invisible. In monarchical Europe, the court jester, the fall served to remind the kings of his own folly and humanity. So too the Kachina, who is counterpart in the form of satirical clowns in almost every Native American culture. In the Lakota Seuss tradition, the fool would be a huyoki, a contrary, who will retreat if you say char charge, and will rush headlong into the fray if you say go back. He will walk backwards and ride facing his horse's tail. To the Pueblo peoples, the fool is a Kachina cloud who will purposely perform his magic incorrectly in a ceremonial position as a reminder that the gods and their powers are holy, not the priests and their tricks. The fool of the Native American tarot is a Kachina clown. On a hillside at dusk, the setting sun and the rising moon are both in the sky, representing the cyclical balance of all things. The clown wears a breech cloth, a scarf around his neck, strips of cloth like banners around his wrists and knees, and a cloth turban on which a mock of horns made of beads and straws. In his left hand is a medicine bundle carrying sacred smoking mixtures and hanging from his neck is a medicine bag for protection. The set of bowels rep represent growth and when burned is incense cleansing. A scruffy dog runs beside the fall. In some Native American traditions, a companion dog with great mystery helped out the constellation in the sky. The dog was full of himself. So as one powwow story goes, he gets bored and impatient with the task assigned to him and through way out ahead of himself the bag of stars he carried and thus creating the milky way the angry great spirit banished dog to earth and turned him into coyote the trickster the fool is the self at the beginning in the shamanic journey he is also the first step in the rest of one's life he has lost his wits or with divine guidance or wisdom has abandoned them for something better he is the trickster whose tricks don't work 
for if they do, he will turn aside and show you how they work. The counterpart of the next card, one, Hoist and Coyote. He is a distorted mirror image of Hoist and Coyote, the trickster, or even of himself. The important aspect of the fall is that its number is zero. He represents the creative source of all things, the womb. Zero is the cosmic cipher, the void, the existential everyman, in poker terms, the wild card. Hence, we come full circle to the belief that when the fool shows up in a layout, an element of anarchy is let in. To the fool, nothing is sacred. Therefore, anything and everything is possible. The fool is also just what he is. Fool. So I love that. Just to show you how much information this book actually carries. So let us look a little bit more at the fool. Okay, so we could look at the meditation. Okay, so you could meditate on the full card. And you think about the full, the scent is tobacco, the color is black, the meditation, I find myself, the affirmation, I create a new self, I have the power to be visible or invisible as I choose. So that's what we're going to focus on, is the full to begin. I'm not going to worry about the visualizations just yet. So let's have a look at the connection of the full and its correlations. So you could say the full, the totem is the dog. The Native American symbology is human life. Okay, the planet was the plant. Sorry, is tobacco. The stone would jet. And the tool to focus is smoke. Musical key F. Shamanic journey is first choice to begin. Meditation point is the void. The chakra color is black. You could look at the Aztec day sign as crocodile with the Aztec deity is the creator goddess. Okay, the Pueblo, Kachinas, Spirit and Deities. You got the Kichamein. I'm not going to go in through all this. I'm just having. A, I'm just showing you what you can look at. The classic Greek figures, a classic Roman figure, and the Egyptian deity. Alchemy is lead, color black. Planet is moon, full moon. The Hebrew is Aleph. Hebrew letters transcribed as Aleph. Hebrew letters is the ox. Or plow. Old Testament, New Testament, Middle Eastern figures. You got the Roman Catholic saint as Alexis, Afro Brazilian Optala. Okay, you've got the Dami, Hanishin, and Voodoo is Sokba, Asian Tikus. So there's quite a lot of information. You've got runes, which is Stand Still. Celtic da, um, deities, Tellurian. You've got Arthur legends with Arthur. Norse deities is Belda. You've got Tibetan Book of the Dead is Buddha. Chinese gods, Panku. I Ching is number four, Mang. Youthful innocence. So yeah, there's quite a lot um, when you start to explore about the different... Um, cards and I'm not going to do that in every video this was just an introduction to the Native American tarot so the next video we will look at one of the spreads so that's it from me don't forget to check the link below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care and blessed be